Hello, and welcome to Read Up. Here at Read Up, we explore the wonderful world of reading. Today, we're going to go on a journey with a young boy who longs to see the world. Let's take a look at The Seven Wonders of Sassafras Springs. Country boy Evan McAllister thinks his town of Sassafras Springs is dull, and would never compare it to the wonders of the world that he desires to see. Hearing this, his father challenges him to find seven of his own wonders in Sassafras Springs. If successful, Evan would earn a long way to trip out west to visit family. While he is doubtful, he decides to take a chance. To his surprise, he meets a singing saw, a floating table, and a truth-telling loom, just to name a few. Eben discovers a world he never knew, whilst creating a whole new adventure in his backyard. Here's a short preview from the book. Red Hawk, Koi, and Iron Valley all had dots on the map, but not Sassafras Springs, Missouri. We might as well have been invisible. Yet there I was, sitting on the front porch with Pa and Aunt Pretty. The chores were done, our bellies were full, and the mosquitoes hadn't worked up much of an appetite yet. Eben, I have a deal for you, he finally announced. You find yourself seven wonders right here in Sassafras Springs, and I'll buy you a ticket to go see Molly and Eli on that mountain. This is it, said Yuli, stroking the wood like it was her favorite cat. Not a wonder, maybe, but special, because this is a table that walked through a graveyard, walked on its own, or so folks would tell you. There she saw it, plain as day, a four-legged table walking along with a light, weaving in and out among the tombstones. Ever wonder if there's more to your town than you think? Grab a parent and go exploring today. You can create an adventure in your very own backyard. To catch up on Eben's other discoveries, make sure to check out the rest of the story. The Seven Wonders of Sassafras Springs can be found at your local library. Make sure to check out a copy and continue to read up.